Happy New Year! First video of 2022. <laughs> I'm Em and welcome back to my channel. So if you don't already know, I have a small business selling custom catered jackets, clothing, accessories and artwork. And uh, one of the video requests that I got on Instagram was telling my story, why I started my business, how I got to where I am. So I thought today I would have a sit down and just talk through my story. <laughs> so most people probably expect that I have always been big into art and have always been drawing and painting and stuff growing up but I actually wasn't. <laughs> um, I did try drawing when I was younger and I was just still in secondary school. I used to draw quite a lot but I just wasn't very good and I didn't really have the right resources. I didn't really know where to look to get tips and to learn other than like art in school which wasn't very good yeah i was wasn't great <laughs> and people would tell me that i wasn't great so um yeah i gave up <laughs> but i've always been a creative person and always been interested in like the creative subjects or like um creative industries you know art is in many forms i've always been big into like music and movies and stuff so whilst i wasn't painting or drawing. I was more creative rather than like a sciencey and maths type of person. During the years of when I was like 16, 17, 18, when you're, you know, <laughs> choosing the path that your life is gonna go down for the next few years, um, I was struggling quite a lot mentally. Um, yeah, I was, I was, it was not a good stage in my life. Um, I just sort of felt really lost, I didn't really know what I was doing and I just sort of didn't really have a hope for my future, let alone um, a happy future or finding something that I would actually want to do for the rest of my life. But as I said, I was big into my music, I would go to a lot of concerts as you can see, my concert tickets. Um, so I came across a course that was music and live events management. I thought that would be a good way of taking my passion for music and turning that into a career. So I went to uni um, and studied that. Funnily enough, my mental health didn't magically get better. So I was still struggling quite a lot whilst I was at uni. And also whilst I was there, I sort of figured out that I didn't want my passion to become my job. I wanted to keep music and concerts as my safe place, as my happy place. Um, and I didn't really want to ruin that by making it like serious and making it my job. I know a lot of people who are fans who then go to work in like record labels and whatever and they love it. They have the best time because you are doing something fun and it's not like a boring office job. No offence to people who have boring office jobs, it's just not for me. I just couldn't figure out which path in the music industry I would want to work in and decided that I just sort of wanted to keep that as my happy place. I have also been big into like my fitness. I would go to the gym a lot which <laughs> at some point wasn't great with my mental health because I was struggling with like food and body image and things like that but anyway it's all good now um, <laughs> so whilst i was at uni i thought instead i would do my personal training course and become a personal trainer partly because i was big into fitness and um, partly because i wanted to help people in their fitness journeys but in a healthy way help them to achieve their goals to be healthy and happy and to be proud of their bodies and partly was because I wanted to be self-employed. Um, I wanted to have my own freedom and be able to go to as many concerts as I wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted the freedom of being my own boss. When I was about halfway through my course, the company went bust um, and just completely disappeared out of nowhere. So I paid all that money to start my personal training course, got halfway through and then had to stop. And um, I couldn't afford slash couldn't really be bothered to start again with a different company um, because by the time I got to that point again I was like I don't really want this to be my job. <laughs> I'm, as you can tell I was a bit indecisive and it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do but that's okay um, because that's life um, and I wanted to do something that made me happy and that's what I think everyone deserves. Everyone deserves to do something that makes them happy instead of just 
working in something that they hate. So yes, I had to stop doing my personal training and that was the end of that <laughs> path of my life. Um, so when I finished uni, I was working in a pub um, and as someone who gets really anxious, it was not <laughs> the job for me. I was actually there for like, I want to say like three years and I, I hated it. <laughs> um, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't the place for me. It wasn't good for my mental health and I just didn't really like working in hospitality. It wasn't, it wasn't great. I did try and get jobs um, at like hotels and various other places in events management because obviously that was part of my degree as well but I applied to loads of places didn't get them and yeah I didn't care enough to keep trying and keep getting rejected so that was the end of that <laughs> I also applied to do ski seasons but didn't get any of those so as you can tell I was sort of feeling down and lost and everything just sort of didn't feel like it was going that great for me so um that was fun but in 2019 Marvel released Captain Marvel <laughs> I have loved the MCU films for years and watching Captain Marvel I was just because she was the first female solo lead superhero um, in MCU and I just loved her. I felt so motivated and empowered um, by Carol and by Brie, the actress. And yeah, I just, I still love her. She's still one of, one of, yeah, one of my favorite Marvel characters. And I loved her so much. And as I said, felt empowered by her. So I wanted to find a jacket or some clothing or something that was um, inspired or you know of her something to do with the film so I could show off my love for her because of how amazing she was and how amazing she made me feel but I looked around multiple places and I couldn't find any that I liked um, like or oh, they were in America and I couldn't afford to ship it over so I did a bit of research and I taught myself how to paint and bought the jacket, bought the paints, bought the fabric medium, um, didn't tell anyone and then in my bedroom just painted this Captain Marvel jacket. Here she is. <laughs> this was my first ever custom painted jacket and this is my favourite quote from the film, I have nothing to prove to you. And little did I know <laughs> that one little thing <laughs> that was like a day of my life one tiny moment was going to change everything so after that i painted a few more for myself i painted one um demi lovato inspired one i painted a Madden dragons inspired one i painted an anne marie inspired one for my best friend amy and obviously i created my emma temps art instagram page just to show off these paintings that i had done and from there, I had a couple other friends ask me to paint them jackets, and again, I was posting about all of that. Um, and it was actually a tweet that got me my first order for a jacket from someone that I didn't know. And then I got a couple orders from people who I didn't know, and it was amazing. I was like, wow. The first jacket that I sold was in August 2019. Since then, I have painted over 100 custom jackets, which is absolutely crazy um blows my mind because 100 is a big number <laughs> some of them were for myself and some of them were for gifts but most of those are jackets that i've sold which is in 2020 obviously we all went down into lockdown i was on furlough from the pub and um, that gave me the time and the money to properly turn Emma Thames art into a little business. So that was when I started doing some art prints and things as well as the jackets. And since then, obviously, as you may know, or have seen, my business has grown <laughs> quite a lot, which is crazy. So yes, painted over 100 jackets, was able to quit the job um, at the pub, which was honestly the best feeling I am in the best and happiest place I've ever been in my life I get to spend most days painting um, and working on my business and with all of your support 
and the temps art continues to grow and it just makes me so happy without social media and well twitter for the first sale but mostly tiktok and instagram i wouldn't be in the position that i am in today and yeah it's crazy and i'm so grateful and i can't wait to see what the rest of 2022 and beyond brings for my business thank you so much for watching me ramble on about my life um i hope you found it interesting or it answered any of the questions that you might have had please comment below if you have any other questions um and i am obviously more than happy to answer them i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my etsy and all of my social media and everything and um, i will see you in the next one bye